welcome to Intermediate Level English Language Arts. Hi guys and welcome to English Language Arts Grade 6. Our topic for today would be recognizing the past participle form of verbs. Okay, So the past participle form of verbs guys is commonly known as the EN form and it's used in perfect tenses. Okay, So here are some common examples. Um, we have the one in the first column we have the base form. The one in the second column this is the ED form. And the en form is on the last column so examples we have hunt hunted hunted so hunt is one of the examples we're in the ed and the en form is actually the same same as with discover now for take take is a different one because for take you have a different um, ed form but the en form you just add en take becomes took and it becomes taken in en Okay, same is true with um, choose. Choose becomes chose in ED, but in EN, it's going to be chosen. Forget is another one too. Forget becomes forgot, becomes forgotten. For B, guys, B has a different ED form, but the EN form, you're just going to add EN. So, for example, B would become was or were, and then it's going to be being. Okay, now for catch, catch is also one of those where it's an irregular verb and that the ed and the en form is actually the same irregular verb. So catch becomes caught, becomes caught. Same as with find, find becomes found, becomes found. Become is one of those where it would be turned back to the original one, like run, right? So become becomes became, and then in en it becomes become again, okay? Begin is different as well because the en and the ed form is different begin becomes began in ed and begun in en form okay same as with sing and ring sing sang sung ring rang rung for cut set cost these are um verbs where in the base form is the same with the ed and with the en form okay and here are your different kinds of, of verbs in the en form okay or in the past participle tense. Okay, and that pretty much ends our topic for recognizing the past participle form of verbs.